<laughs> well, so we met at Expos. We yes. met just recently. Yes. And I just loved... Um, I don't know. I loved your attitude. I loved how you just came up to me and you were like, hey, I'm a fan. And then when you said to me, you go, if you ever want to shoot a fat girl, you said, call me. And I was like, whoa. And then you, but you were so genuine and sweet about it. And then like, I don't know, you just had this, you obviously had this very, you were very comfortable with yourself, yes. which came off immediately. Thank you. And you were funny and you were charming and you were sweet. And I was like, I bet she would be a great guest to have on. Um, I... I, and I said this, and I'll say a hundred times, I'm the girl next door. The only difference is I'm the most confident girl in the room. When I walk into a place, I think I'm just the sh- because if I don't think that, nobody else will. Yeah. So it's almost, and I'm very bubbly, just uh-huh. naturally bubbly, uh-huh. and almost to the point like, oh, good, turn it down. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> so it just just comes off like the high cheeks, the whole yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how would you describe yourself, like, um, I guess, as a performer? Like, what would, what, what does your bio read, I guess? Uh, 13 years of having sex on camera. Mm-hmm. I started a day after my 18th birthday. Mm-hmm. I've done a lot of crazy shit on camera. So I'm very much a gonzo girl. I didn't, until Monday, I've never done anything scripted. Mm-hmm. So what is it, the 25th of February? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just like having sex and I like being the different girl. Okay. So in the past, I used to work with a lot of bigger companies, uh-huh. and they would literally just throw me in uh-huh. to anything because they're like, she's nice, she's friendly, cool. So I would be in the mix, and then the genre of plus size came into play, and then uh-huh. now I'm my own little bubble. Yeah. So what would you would you call yourself a plus size yeah. performer? Yes. Like, how do you... Because I know that sometimes, you know, like people have very specific identities that they want to be named by, and I just... I want to know what you like to be called. Fat girl performer, plus size, <laughs> BBW, any term that is related to my size, I'm okay with. Okay. At the end of the day, I always go, I'm more of the average American girl. Mm-hmm. Go out there, the average person you'll see walking down the street is a size 14. So mm-hmm. I'm just normal, but in a world where we put labels to everything, I'm plus mm-hmm. size. Yeah. Okay. And so are you comfortable, because you've called yourself fat a couple of times yeah. and you're like the, so that term for you you don't feel like derogatory no not with, at all you're like totally fine with yeah. that if i don't own it somebody else is going to use it against me so why not be okay with using the terms yeah but it, then again it's like but or are you just average because it's like and then this brings up the question of what is normal you know what i mean because especially like mainstream advertising um we sell this image of this super skinny girl and that's what everybody should look like with the big like totally unreal i mean even just look back as far as like dolls and barbies you know i used to play with barbies like they had totally had unreal i remember like there was some article and some like doctor was like the, the measurements, measurements are, are compl- like like completely impossible like you as a human being couldn't function like your spine would collapse like there was all these like medical conditions <laughs> the barbie would have if a woman actually was those measurements yeah so um and now you know with the with the internet and with social Grams. media yeah and and i just feel like a lot of things are coming out into the open now and people are discussing subjects that People didn't want to talk about before, yeah. you know, and and we're discussing becoming more accepting of of everybody as an individual, and that it's okay to be different. And um, do you feel that that's really been a plus for you? I <laughs> yes, okay. As a person, yes. Business wise, not so much because there's more of us. Out there. <laughs> so it's like I used to be the market, you know. There was yeah. maybe a few of us, and now there's a lot more girls in the curvier kind of feel, or more in the normal plus size. Mm-hmm. And then we get into our bigger girls SS BBWs, and then we go. It, it gets. We just say SS BBWs, yeah, super so, size. Oh, okay. Because see, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, they. I am considered a small BBW. Okay. Uh, almost in the plumper, which a plumper would be more of a curvier girl. Okay. Yeah. Wait, break this all down for me. Because okay. I didn't know because I really hesitated to call you a BBW performer because in my mind, you seem smaller than what I would think most BBW performers would be. But I don't know the terminology. But you stick me at, you know, expose the end. I'm one of the chubbier girls there. I'm one of the bigger girls. I'm one of the fatter girls. It's... Mm-hmm. All apples to oranges, and depending on the group of girls I'm with, if I am with plus size community friends, I am one of the smallest girls. Okay, uh, usually about the size twelve is okay. where we consider normal or plus size. Uh-huh. Um, 
and then you get into your plumpers, your BBWs, and then you get into your SSBBWs, and then you get into your bigger. And we're like, talking three, four hundred pounds, five hundred pound girls. Like people who can't necessarily move. Some move. of them, some, but that is what they make money off. The fact that they can't move. Yeah. Wow. 